What's up, guys? This is Justin uh, on all daily fantasy sites, J-U-H-S-P-I-N, also known as Tone on most of the forums on any uh, daily websites. Now, I just want to go ahead and get to it and go ahead and uh, show you how to use my optimizer that most of you have purchased uh, by now. Uh, and let's get to it. First, I do want to give a big shout-out, though, to Jeff from OptimizeLineups.com. He did help me with the exclusion of all teams part portion of my spreadsheet. Uh, other than that, the whole thing was built by me. Uh, secondly, I do want to give a big shout out to basketballmonster.com. I do suggest you sign up with them. Uh, the reason I'm shouting them out is I use their projections for almost everything that I do every night, and I've been very successful doing so. Uh, so, all right, let's get to it. Let's go to basketballmonster.com, get started. Go ahead and get the projections for the day. What I typically do is go straight to the website, hit daily tools, click on DFS projections. Scroll down. I make sure this is selected on all players for the night. When I do that, I go ahead and hit export to Excel. Once I export it to Excel, you'll notice if you're on Google Chrome at the very bottom left here, it'll go ahead and download. You can just click that and it'll open it up. If you're on another browser or anything, just go ahead and you know find it in the download section, open it up. Whatever you do, you'll have to click enable editing. Once you do that, I always like to, you know, see the player's name, so I always fix the column. Now, guys, one thing you have to remember every night is my optimizer is built for only 200 players. So with that being said, you need to go down to the row 200, and then from 201 down, you need to get rid of any of those players uh, that are listed below that. And let's be real, if you're playing with any more than 200 players on any given night, uh, or anybody below 200, uh, the top 200, then uh, you're probably not doing well in fantasy. Uh, or FanDuel, that's for dang sure. Uh, so, anyways, let's get to it. Now, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and open up the optimizer. So, I'm going to go to my desktop here. I got it right here on the desktop for so I have easy access for every night. And once you open it, it's time to go ahead and copy over all the information from the spreadsheet we got from Basketball Monster. So, let's go ahead and copy the names. We're going to hit Control C, or you can always right click and hit, you know, copy. The, you know the old school way with your keyboard though if you hit control C it will copy the names it'll copy the whole entire column and then I go over to this column I'll hit control V or you can right click and hit paste either way once again like I said I like to you know make it look organized by spreading out the uh, column there now guys we also don't, we can't forget the position so let's go over to the new sheet let's find the position column we're going to copy it we're going to go ahead and paste it I'm going to slide it, slide it in there, make it look a little better. Now next is team, the team that the player plays for us. So let's go ahead and get that real quick. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go ahead and paste the team in that column. Now we need opponent next. So let's go ahead and get the opponent. Who are they playing tonight? Over here. I'm going to copy that column. I'm going to paste it into the optimizer. Next we need the price tag or the salary. Let's go over here to the other sheet to get the price tags for the night. Let's paste them into the optimizer. And lastly, we need the value or in most of your sheets, guys, it'll probably say my projections right here. Uh, it can say anything it wants. It doesn't matter. Values, projections, uh, anything. Uh, now, let's go ahead and get that column, though. The reason I have it as value is because Basketball Monster, their column for value is their projections for the night. So let's go ahead and copy that over. Go ahead and paste it. I like to organize it. Like I said, I want to see the phone number there. So I'm going to do that. Now, all right, guys, one thing I always say to do is always scroll down to the very bottom. Always make sure that, you know, you got your top 200 there. Make sure everything's good to go. Uh, and so far, it looks like everything's good to go tonight. Now, sometimes you'll notice, though, on the, under the salaries column, uh, some players, if you're on Basketball Monster or using Basketball Monster, it'll have like a zero for them for the night uh, just because they don't know if they're going to be out for the night or if they're coming back or whatnot. If you notice, though, whenever I put a zero there, it actually gives an error over here. That's not good. you got to make sure that, you know, all of these are filled in, all of the salaries are correct. So make sure by checking FanDuel, that, you know, what the salary is. And always make sure that's correct. Uh, and that, that goes also, guys, for... You know, uh, the team, the opponent name and stuff like that, the team name and the opponent name. You know, if I got rid of uh, Memphis here, it would actually cause an error, you know, right here. So you want to make sure you don't get rid of stuff like that. Uh, make sure everything's filled in. 
Now, real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and delete something that I had in here from last night. I'm going to go ahead and put a zero here. I'm going to go ahead and change all this to zero so it looks just like your uh, spreadsheet that you have. Now, uh, guys, I've pasted everything in. I've got the position, the name, the team, the opponent, the price, and the value of the, my projections, which, like I said, is what it says on most of your uh, spreadsheets. And I'm ready to go. Uh, before I uh, hit start, though, before I do that, I want to show you a few other things. Let's look over here on the you know column W and X. It says customize projections weight. This is how you can actually allocate which percentage of the projections you want from these three columns. Now, to kind of break that down in layman's terms, uh, you can go to different websites and actually paste in different you know uh, projections. So, say like another website had you know these guys projected at these numbers that I'm put, typing in at the moment. Uh, you can actually take and do. 50% of my projections and then 50% of the, uh, you know, the other website projections and that, you know, in this square right here. And what that'll do is it'll actually take this column and this column and it'll give you the average right here. So you can average out, you know, three different websites if you want by changing the, you know, these columns over here. I actually like to use Basketball Mon uh, Monster 100% of the time. So I'll do 100% of Basketball Monster, which is this column. I'm going to actually just reset this column for, you know, the video purposes. Now over here, guys, you can set the number of lineups. You can put, you know, 200. You can put 25. You know, I like to do the top three every night. Uh, that's the best, I think. That, you know, that's the best of the best if you do the top three. Now, before we hit start once again, over here in the exclude column for the teams, this is what Jeff gave me from OptimizedLineups.com. I appreciate it, bud. Uh, you guys can go in here and say Boston plays tonight. You can go ahead and x, you know, x Boston off. And it'll exclude anybody that plays for Boston, like Isaiah Thomas it just did. Uh, and it'll do that down this entire row, uh, just so you guys are column, just so you know. Anybody that plays for Boston will be excluded for the night. Uh, however, I'm going to go ahead and reset that, because that'll be for another tutorial another day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset this entire column, matter of fact, just to make sure everything's perfect. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and hit start, guys. And once you get started, it'll freak out a little bit for a few minutes, depending on how many lineups you decided to uh, run or optimize. And once you do, uh, say you hit three, it'll take not too long at all, less than uh, 15 seconds. And then now you'll see your uh, optimal lineup for the night, guys. It says best optimal lineup up here. Here's your projected for the night. Here's the lineup, which includes uh, Alfred Payton, it looks like, uh, Reggie Jackson, CJ McCollum, uh, Avery Bradley, it looks like, both shooting guards, and then your small forwards are mellow. And Batum, and then you got Porzingis and Love at power forward, as well as Robin Lopez at center. Uh, and they're going to give you 299 points tonight, or a projected, you know, uh, total of 299. Now, if you notice, though, down here, guys, there is two other lineups that they did spit out. Uh, you can use these lineups as well uh, down here. It's totally up to you. Uh, just, you know, just check the op or the total projected to make sure that it's a, you know, a pretty good number there, uh, and it's close to the the best optimal. But just so you guys know, I use this lineup right here every night that I spit out. And I uh, I do very well, and I play tournaments only. If I was to play 50-50s and double ups, which I have attempted a few nights, uh, I come in the top, you know, 5 to 10 people every time I do that. Uh, I'm a, you know, very big tournament player, though. I love tournaments. I think it's uh, the best way to, you know, hit the lottery, basically. Uh, and I'm a gambler, so uh, you don't have to. But uh, if you were to play 50-50s and double ups every single night, even triple ups and couple ups, I can guarantee you uh, this right here, this lineup that spits out at the very top, will win uh, from 75 to about 90% of the time, uh, barring there's no injuries for the night. So if there's an injured player, say, uh, you know, Melo and Reggie Jackson both get hurt tonight, you know, early in the, in the game, well, you know, they're not going to give you many points. That could crush your lineup. Uh, that's the only thing that could, that could uh, deter this optimizer. Because uh, if not, if everybody stays healthy and everybody plays as uh, they should, then this will be the optimal uh, optimal line, or projected uh, points right here. Uh, but they probably will overdo that, I would imagine. Most teams would put up, uh, you know, if it's a 299 here, they'll, you know, put up a 340 or, you know, probably a 327, we'll say, for the night. Depends on how the games go, how fast-paced they are and stuff like that. Now, uh, just to kind of go into depth here real quick, this column right here, column A, if you notice, uh, you know, this is the lineup sheet we were just on. I just clicked on FanDuel Optimizer and went to the other sheet. But uh, if you go to column A and you go to the, you know, cell 2 and you type 0 and hit enter and then click it again, double click that little green square 
on the bottom right hand side of the cell. What that'll do is that'll reset the entire optimal lineup for the night. So basically the lineups that you just created, it just reset all of that. Now you can go in here guys, and this is the exclude and the lock in button. You could say you don't want to, you know, take Steph Curry tonight. You can go ahead and get rid of Steph Curry for the night. Uh, you can exclude him. You can exclude LeBron James, say, and Andre Drummond, and say maybe even Carmelo Anthony. And if you were to hit start again, they will not be in your lineups, not a single one of them. Uh, so just, uh, you know, exclude players you don't like for the night. Uh, just be careful. Make sure you're not excluding the wrong player. I'm going to exclude, you know, Steph Curry. Uh, whenever he's about to play, uh, you know, the Lakers and drop, you know, 100 points. <laughs> you know, just be careful. Uh, also, if you want to lock in, say, for instance, Steph Curry, uh, you can put an L there. You want to lock in Chris Paul, put an L there. Uh, whatever you guys do, make sure you do not lock in too many at one position. Uh, for instance, don't lock in, you know, John Wall and Chris Paul and, you know, Steph Curry because all three of those guys are point guards. Uh, don't do that. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and reset this by hitting that green, you know, square at the very bottom like I've uh, been doing throughout this tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, tell you the guy, that's it. Uh, you know, one thing I will say, if you want to fade the entire team, what you would do is go over here and say, uh, say the Clippers are playing tonight. You don't want any players from the Clippers. You can just go over here and put an X, hit enter, and it'll get rid of the whole team once again. Uh, I think I showed you guys that though already. Uh, and that's it, man, for tonight. Uh, that's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, thanks to everybody who has purchased it. Uh, hopefully I'll give you a... Maybe a more in-depth tutorial of how you can maybe do a couple other things, put more projections in, uh, weight it out a little differently, uh, maybe even mess with the season averages, which is a hidden tab on here. Um, this is the column for season averages, just so you know. Uh, however, I do not touch that ever. I think that is uh, pretty stupid if you base your lineups off of the season average, considering injuries and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, guys, that's the tutorial. I hope uh, it helped everybody. Uh, enjoy, and uh, have a good night.